Hello guys, I decided to build my own mechanical keyboard with zero practice. I've already muscle memory adapted to Apple Magic Keyboard. This is why I decided to build one with a similar layout. Let's go! First, I replicate the layout using the website keyboardlayouteditor.com. It gives me a raw layout data what I can use for plate and case builder. Links are in the video description. I generate the plate data and saved it in the exe file for future use in Fusion 360. In this software I made some adjustments to stabilizers and create plate split it in half for better printing on my Prusa Mini Plus. I used the tutorials and advice from Joe Scotto, so I made plate 3mm thick and after that I cut off material on the places where stabilizers should be because they are supporting only 1.5mm thick plate to click in. Now it is time to print the plate. And check the dimensions. After both halves printed, it is time to fill it with switches. After free test, I decided to super glue them on the plate because they are a little loose. I used keyboard firmware builder for wiring diagram to help me connect all together. This site can help you to build the firmware as well, but I miscalculated pins and I can't use Arduino like controller, but about it later. I hand wired all the switches into the mattress as Joe Scotto showed us in one of his videos and connected the diodes as well. These diodes have to be there to eliminate ghosting keystrokes. Because I don't have a shrinkable isolation, I used electrical tape to isolate crossing wires. And here is finished wiring. Now I just have to connect ends of columns and rows to the controller, which is Raspberry Pi Pico, what I choose because of the pin number. Okay, let's try to upload firmware and test it if I did some mistakes when I was soldering the keyboard. Because I am using Raspberry Pi with RP2040 microprocessor, I decided to use a circuit Python. By the way, I never used this Python before. And the KM key firmware. This firmware is really well documented, but for check keyboard mapping, the keys was mostly try catch game. And next thing, what makes it difficult is that I had skipped rows, so there must be some virtual non function keys to match the layout. I found that the firmware is capable to map layout with already skipped some non existing keys in matrix. After I spent an hour of testing it, so I left it as it is. Everything works, so now I have to make a case for the keyboard. I just used previously made plate and built a case around it. Place it a little bit towards me and made a cutout for USB cable. I made places for screws and lock mechanism to placing it correctly when it's going to be glued. After printing, I glued two parts together. After that I put some plate on the seam to be sure that it will not break there. Added some rubber feet and made a foam cutout to eliminate sound and resonation inside. After that I mounted the plate with screws. I am using flashlight to check if the holes for screws are aligned correctly.
Next and final part are keycaps. I printed low profile ones on my FDM printer, added some rubber inks to make them uh, more silent and attached them to the switches. I'm thinking about making some stickers to know which key is which, but it is maybe project for the future. So let's test it. Nice. I'm really happy that I did it. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed it, comment, like and click subscribe button. See ya!